Okay, so hello again everybody. Uh, in, in this tutorial I will show you how can you use the Volley library to parse JSON format. So first thing you're gonna need is uh, some JSON data. In my example I used array of students and each object has first name, last name and age. Then the next thing you obviously need is to implement the volley library in your build dot gradle settings gradle settings and in manifest you need to have two user permissions internet and access network state those are requirements okay first let's see what we have here in our layout uh, so we have a, a standard button and the text view in our main activity we will just reference these two views so let's make this quick okay and we need to set on click listener for this button so when we click on the button uh, we will do the JSON request so the first thing is to reference a request queue class this class allows JSON request and all other URL requests to be managed concurrently. Also good thing about Volley library is that we don't have to make a async task for it when creating a new request. <coughs> request queue and then let's name it request queue. Now reference it in the onCreate method so request queue equals volley dot new request queue and our parameter is our context in this case we can use the uh, keyword this next type json object request json object request equals new json object request for the method we will use a get method so request dot method dot get you can use post as you wish for our url i will use my local server where i stored my json data now for our next parameter we need to use a response listener so we will create one by typing new response dot listener and the method will be automatically implemented just watch with the brackets and uh, we need to reference one more listener that is on error response listener so if there is some kind of error we can just report it in this method okay now in uh, on response we are going to initialize an array so json array json array equals response dot get json array and we type uh, array name and our array name is students we need to surround this with try catch. Okay, next thing is to access this student array by using for loop. Then we need to create uh, a JSON object for each student. So we will create it by typing JSON object, let's name it student, equals JSON array dot get JSON object of i. So we have accessed these objects individually and now the only thing that is left is to access the variables. Okay, let's do that by typing following string first name equals student dot get string first name. For our last name, this is almost the same. String last name equals student dot get string last name, and string age equals student dot get string age. So in this text view, we will just append our text by typing text view dot append, and we will type our first name, last name, and age. If we get an error during the operation, we will just log it. In our console so just type log.t and type whatever you want and now remember that we have a request queue 
that needs to be filled with our requests so we need to type request queue dot add and our previously created JSON request ok let's start the emulator and see so as you can see now when we click on start text view is populated by the name last name and age of students that we requested ok so that's all from me for now See you in next video. Bye.